Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy X-2. Alright, so off screen I did all my equipment and uh, abilities and all that kind of stuff, so let's uh, see what we got set up here. For Yuna, I've got her with the Healing Wind Garment Grid here. I set it up as you can see there with the Thief in the top left and the Songstress in the bottom with the Cura Gate between them. That'll come in handy coming up. Got her on Songstress. And I've got her equipped with the Iron Bangle and the Fairy Earrings, even though these protect against Confusion and Berserk. I've strictly just got it there to boost the defense and magic defense of Yuna. So yeah, I believe it boosts both your defense and magic defense by plus eight. So yeah, don't need to worry about Confusion yet or Berserk. And uh, to preempt it, Confusion in this game sucks. So yeah, anyways. We'll uh, deal with it, deal with that when we get to it. But anyways, uh, so Riku, back to the <laughs> back to the setups. Riku got her on Vanguard. I rearranged it as you can see there with a the thief on the top and the black mage on the right with the magic plus four gate between them. Uh, that'll come in handy as well. And I got her with thief. And I'll probably be swapping her back and forth between thief and black mage as needed. And got her with the gauntlets and the tiara. For pain, she's got Vanguard as well with Thief, and I've got her with the Muscle Belt and the White Cape. Now you can actually swap the Muscle Belt and Gauntlets if you like to get a bit more of a uh, balanced setup, if you will. Obviously, right now, uh, you know, Pain has significantly more. Well, she's got more strength than Riku, uh, but Riku also goes back and forth between the Black Mage with the defenses considerably lower. Um, so yeah, having the having the extra plus five to the defense there could help, but I decided since uh, Pain is going to be the one doing the fall, going to be uh, in the follow up position with regards to chaining, I figured I might as well give her the the biggest boost of strength to you know help help with that. So yeah, she can capitalize on that as much as she can. So yeah, and she's got the white cape as well. White cape is strictly there for the sake of you know boosting stats again. So yeah. Devens and Magic Devens plus four, so yeah. And yeah, so there we go. And obviously the TR is on Riku because of Black Mage, so yeah. Alright, so abilities. Yuna, she's still learning a Sleepy Shuffle. I have to think about what we're gonna have her learn after that, but uh, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Riku on Thief, she's just about finished First Strike. When she learns that, I'll send her to learn Flea next. And for Black Mage, I'm actually having her learn Focus first. Be a little while before we need these. Uh, not to mention our MP uh, pool is a little lackluster right now. And I think these cost triple for some reason. I can't remember. I think I think it costs like triple your triple the uh, amount of MP as these do. So yeah, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But still, I still think learning Focus and what the chain of abilities that it unlock it begins to unlock is probably a bit more important for right now. So yeah, learning focus next, or first. And uh, yeah, so we'll get to see what that does uh, for us uh, in the long run. For Pain, she's learning Pilfergill. I've got her on Pilfergill, and after she learns that, I'll have her set on Flea as well. So there we go. All right, <clears throat> pardon me. We're all set, ready to go. So let's see where we wanna go first. You know that the whole world is open to us. So yeah, we got the uh, treasure sphere waves coming from Besaid and Xanarkin ruins, and we got a whole bunch of places we can go to if we like. But you know what? I don't see why not. Let's head back to Besaid Island and see how things are since we left. Besaid Island sphere hunt. Sphere waves coming from Besaid. Gather information in Besaid village and find that treasure sphere. <laughs> Maybe hard to say hi to Waka and Lulu as well, <laughs> while we're there. <laughs> Anyways. Ah, so nice and quiet and peaceful here. This must be how a runaway feels after finally coming home. This is the first time I've returned to Besaid since my journey began. Our little 
little nervous. I bet. The way you took off without a word. Yeah. You're one to talk, it. Riku. <laughs> <laughs> you caused quite a fuss, young lady. Well, that's not entirely fair. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yuna's the one that made the decision. Well, as long as you're okay, yeah? Riku just encouraged her. Your friend? Oh, this is Pain. We're looking for spheres together. So, you're a sphere hunter now. I heard the rumors. To tell you the truth, I wasn't too worried. Gotta say, though, you, uh, do seem pretty different. <laughs> oh, you haven't changed a bit, Tubby. Whoa, cut it out, ya! Yeah? I'm gonna be a father soon. Got to have a little more presence, you know? How much longer? Any day now. <gasps> Waka, a daddy! To tell the truth, I sure don't feel like one. I mean, how do I know how a father's supposed to act in front of his kid? Why not just do what your parents did? Hmm, don't remember him. Sin saw to that when I was still little. You don't have any spheres of them? Nope, not a single... Oh. What's wrong? Oh, uh, nothing, nothing. Anyway, do me a favor and go say hi to Lou. She's been worried about you. Get going. Yeah, I wouldn't worry about it walking. I get the feeling when the child's born, that's when you'll uh, have an idea of what's got to be done kind of thing so yeah all right. oh, yeah let's go talk to Lulu don't want to have her worry more than she needs to right now welcome back hi Lulu so tell us about the baby it's gonna be born soon right hmm not yet Waka's getting a little ahead of himself ah bummer so care to go for a little walk can you I could use the exercise Come on. Said every parent who wants to have some kind of discussion with the so, what's one so of their kids. <laughs> that you'd run off without telling us. I was looking for an excuse. This, the sphere, Waka told me about it. To hang out. It does look like him, though something seems a little off. Have you found anything? Nothing. But there's still a lot of places we haven't looked yet. Must be fun, being free to go where you please. It is fun. I never expected a journey quite like this. I'm not there, so you can spread your wings? Maybe. Huh. <laughs> you have spread your wings. Well, good luck. But, Yuna, never forget who you are. You're the High Summoner that defeated Sin. There are those who would use that, Yuna. I'll be alright. I won't let myself be used anymore. Not by anyone. Ooh. Hm? It kicked. Really? I want to feel! Since you've come all this way, why not stay the night? I don't see why not. 
It's been a while since we've been home, so yeah. Alright. <laughs> yeah, I guess considering what Riku said in the prologue, I guess technically these are Riku's clothes. <laughs> Maybe something she had lying around in the closet? I don't know. Yeah. Alright, let's take a look in the item shop here. Very specific reason I'm gonna come in here. Very important reason. And it has to do with rare finds, so yeah. Alright, there's two ways you can go about this. Easy way and the hard way. The easy way, do not ask about rare finds. Um, simply, you know, when you, if you ask this, she'll offer you an item to buy for 900,000 gil. Obviously, I do not have that amount of money right now. Uh, but the one thing they don't tell you is that just by simply asking about it increases the chances that she'll sell it to somebody else by 50%. So, yeah. If you want an easier time of getting the item, don't ask about this until you're ready to buy it kind of thing. So yeah, you're ready to get it, so yeah. But in any case, I do want to see what kind of stuff she has there. Alright, oh, wow. Potion stock is getting up there. I want to start thinking about maybe selling them here and there to, uh, you know, alleviate the chances of us, you know, running into a situation where you got to waste them kind of thing. So yeah, and we are going to need some money at the end of... Uh, uh, at some point during the game, so yeah. Anyways, uh, watery gleam adds a water element to attacks and skills. Uh, what the, do I have notes on this about uh, the stats of this? Uh, where am I looking here? Is it? Uh, let's see. W. Nope, don't have it there. It's listed. All right. Not sure what it does as far as your stats go, but yeah, adds water element to attacks and skills. And uh, blue ring, basically the water version of the fire, uh, the uh, the red, white, and yellow rings we've been getting so far. So yeah, water version and boosts your uh, magic stat by four. So yeah. Anyways, let's get caught up. What's up, Waka? Something on your mind? How's it going? Been a long time. <laughs> well, you doggy, you got something for me this time? No? Okay. Didn't dig up anything. <laughs> Alright, let's see how the uh, Crusaders are. Oh. What are you guys doing here? Uh, I mean, we... Lulu did extend the offer, so I don't see why not, but. Oh, all the Crusaders have gone to the mainland to join the Youth League. Or X well, we're just killing time until the blitz season starts up. <laughs> eh, makes sense. Dono. Taking it easy. Sounds good. <laughs> How's it going, Keepa? He's a nice guy. All right. So I guess the Crus Crusaders left and the Oroks turned their lodge into their, uh, uh, I guess, uh, their team shelter, team lodge, I guess. How's it going? Yeah, I guess that's one thing to things quieting down that uh, the uh, world cl world famous cloths are uh, back in uh, production again. Or rather, they're gonna work work on them more. All right, all right. Let's go see what's going on at the temple. Can I talk to you? <laughs> I 
I'm guessing you must be new here. Welcome. Anyways. Hey. <laughs> eh, come on. Little girl. Slow down. <laughs> Mashing X. Uh, anyways, uh, we'll get her some other time maybe on the way out. Sounds a little creepy in here since the faith is gone. <laughs> What's up with the cloister? Yeah. I wonder what it looks like in there. Ooh. Ah, you're back in here, eh? <laughs> oh, yeah. One thing I think I probably alluded to in at least one of my LPs with regards to my theory about these smaller statues in the temple or in the temples maybe um, this is definitely more prominent here so we've got the four big statues here those are the previous high summoners previous people that defeated sin and then you got the two really big ones above it you know you can't really get the uh, camera to go up uh, can't really get a good angle for the camera but yeah it's the uh, Lord uh, Unaleska and Lord Zeon, the first High Summoner, and her partner. Uh, they were the first, you know, High Summoner. Or she was, Unaleska was. And then obviously that makes Una the sixth High Summoner of Spira. Keeping in mind, Sin was around for 1,000 years. So, yeah. Out of those 1,000 years, there was, until Una came along, there was only five calms. So, yeah, some people were potentially waiting and centuries for a, another calm but my theory about these lesser statues is there's what there's 12 here and you can't really see how many are there down here but I, I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, guess maybe there's another 12 there so that'd be what 12 24 plus 6 so over the course of a thousand years 30 people attempted to defeat sin only six succeeded these other 24 lesser statues my theory is that they're the summoners who attempted to defeat sin but failed so yeah just thought i'd uh, mention uh, follow up on that thought but anyways all right so going back to the item shopkeeper and not talking to her about you know having a, a specific item be sold to somebody else uh I'm not sure if it's both of these, uh, both of the uh, temple officials or not in here, but I'm not going to talk to any of them just to be certain. But if you talk to one, both, or if you talk to the wrong one, it could also increase that chance of it being sold. Uh, so it's, it'll either increase it by 25% or another 50%. I can't, I, I couldn't find any, you know, uh, specific, uh, I guess record of you know that so basically all that means is that if you were to talk to the to, if you were to ask the in in the in yeah, I keep saying innkeeper the item shopkeeper about the rare finds that would increase it by 50 percent and by talking to the wrong person here it'll either increase it by another 25 percent or it could guarantee that it's been sold to somebody else later on so yeah I'm going to avoid talking to them anyway, so yeah, so we can get an easier time of getting that item, so. Oh, chest is locked. The emblem of Besaid is engraved below the keyhole. All right. Well, I guess we can't get in that chest, because we don't have the key. Anyways. I wonder if these statues outside the, uh, the side, the, uh, side chambers are summoners, or maybe they're just, uh, well, if they are, that's at least that's, and it does something to the weight between uh, columns, but not much when you're de dealing with a thousand years. Anyways, hey, we can talk to her now finally. Ah, <laughs> anyways. All right, well, Lulu did offer, so we may as well take her up on it. We're here. No reason not to. So let's uh, take her up on her offer and spend a night in her old bed. 
是。gone out. Oh. Look at a little pensive there, Lulu. Good morning. Oh, where's Waka? He left at daybreak. He said something about a cave. A cave? I wonder what he's up to. Want us to go find out? Yeah, there might be fiends. Thanks. Though I doubt he'd have trouble handling a few fiends. <laughs> Still, I'm a little worried. It's not like Waka to hide things. That's funny. I don't remember there being any cave. I don't know much about it either. Would you mind asking around? We're on the case. Yeah, Waka can have trouble with the fiends after being uh, a guardian that could do... Almost 1.2 million damage. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, where's Waka? Waka sure is acting weird, and now he's gone off to some cave. Gather clues from the villagers and track him down, and maybe you'll find treasure along the way. <laughs> find Waka and maybe something else. Yeah. A little tongue in cheek there, but then again, I wanted to talk about tongue in cheek. Anything else? Yeah. All right, let's ask around. See what information we get. Where the road forks but before you reach the beach. There's supposed to be some kind of contraption there. Oh, okay. Anything else? No? Alright. Yeah, I think all the people here just have uh, one bit of uh, updated dialogue. When I was a kid, people used to tell the story about four ciphers that opened up some door. Alright. Four ciphers for a door. One of them might have something to do with that contraption that lady was talking about. Anybody in here have any uh, ideas? What about you? No? Okay. Her mind is on her business. Alright. Hey, what about you? Before I lose track of you. All the ruins scattered about, I bet there'd be plenty of places you could climb using a circle. <laughs> Not sure. What you miss? According to my brother, the ciphers hidden by the shore are numbers 2 and 3 of 4. Oh. Sounds like... He's not sure what it means. He heard it when he was a kid. Talk. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was like a big complete rubbish, but yeah. yeah we'll keep, we're, we're looking for Waka. Rumors of a cave. Let's keep, our, keep an open mind. A long time ago I heard this riddle. The cipher easiest to see belongs before the other three. Okay, so if we come across any ciphers, chances are the first one we find could very well be the first one we would need. Climb on the sort of footing. If you run into something suspicious, press cross to investigate. Alright, sounds pretty uh, self explanatory. Top the shattered pillar, rather, something we already know. Anyways, top the shattered pillar's peak, you'll find the final clue you seek. I think that's how it went. Wow. Sounds like a lot of people know about this rumor. Where you? Oh, uh, that sounds like it's going to be a disappointing dream. I mean, yeah, think about dream, dreaming about cookies. Yeah, cookies are great, but if you wake up and there's no cookies, whole world of disappointment. <laughs> the top of the hill outside the village, there's a really nice view. Yeah, yeah, I've seen it a few times. You know, the one where people, yep, yeah, for a safe trip. There's some number inscribed on the stone there. You can't miss it. Oh, okay, well, maybe we'll take a look. See what's up there. All right. Let's see if we can chase down these kids again. <laughs> Although we could probably just wait for them to go inside. Maybe. Yeah, I think they'll. Oh. Eh. Coming to me. Eh. Oh. Okay. Ruins on the beach uh, near the pier up on a hill. Oh. Brother knows where the other ruins on the beach are. Oh. Okay. So. Getting some. Uh, the plot thickens. Cave, I don't know of any cave, but there are ruins by the beach. Climb up and see for yourself. If you can find them, that is. 
Once you get to the beach, you gotta walk a little to the left. Oh, okay. Thank you. Don't cause too much trouble for, I guess maybe that's your sister or something. Large spidery ruins over by the waterfall? Yeah, familiar with them. It's always been a sort of playground to the village's more ranked bunches, youngsters. I climb up onto that crumbling pillar, oh, it makes me shudder to think what could happen. Yeah, because I think some of those uh, ruins are like right on the edge of a cliff, so yeah, I can definitely see why that would uh, give her some pause. Alright, so we heard rumor of a cave. Some kind of contraption, some ciphers that apparently opened a door. So I guess all that's left is to see, take the information we've uh, we've gleaned and see if we can make something of it. But I think that's going to have to wait until next time because the part coming up, if I have to cliffhang you, I get the feeling I might end up having to cliff you at a, cliffhang you at a spot where you really don't want me to. And I feel like it would be kind of unfair for me to do that as well. So hopefully ending it here will help prevent that. And next time we'll take a look around the island, see if we can find any ciphers, see if we can put all the, uh, the clues together and see if we can make something of these rumors. And maybe even find Waka at the same time. <laughs> and who knows, maybe even... Uh, the treasure sphere that we were that uh, buddy picked up but in any case that's it for this time thank you for watching take care be blessed be sure to hit the uh, like button on your way out if you enjoyed it hit the dislike if uh, you disliked it and uh, I'll catch you in the next one take care be blessed and have a good one <laughs>